Hey, are you going up? Yeah, I thought I would, since we're on the ground floor. Oh, right, right. Aren't you getting out? No, no, I'll stay, I'll stay in. I'll, I'll ride up with you. How about that? I'm in no hurry. I, I got really nothing planned. Uh, hey, you remember me, don't you? Yes, yes, I do. Yeah, I'm, I'm Ben Katz. I I'm said Dr. I remembered. Ka right, Dr. Katz's son, Ben Katz. Yes, I said I remembered. That's who I am. You look well. You look good. Unless you have, a, like, a, a peachy look to you. Peachy? Yeah, you got a good sh shimmer off your skin, like a shine. You're all shiny. This is some elevator, huh? This is the slowest elevator I've ever ridden on. Yeah, don't you find, though, that the... the, the Are we stopped? Hey, just think, someday, uh, this elevator will be mine. I'll own it. Wow. I'll rent it. I won't own it. I'll lease it with an option to buy it. It'll be my elevator, sort of. Hey, have you had lunch? Uh, no. Neither have I. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Why is it so hard to not hear you? Wow, that is uh, not what I was expecting to hear. So you don't, uh, you, you wouldn't want to have lunch then? Is that what you're saying? I mean, because I'm I... I'm in my own private hell. Am I echoing to you? I am in my own private hell. You're not here. Oh. You know, I get the feeling we're not connecting. Can you validate my parking stub? <laughs> Your what? Well, the valet guy said you'd validate. The, the valet guy? We don't have a valet. This is a laundry ticket. What are you saying? I'm saying this is a laundry ticket. I'm saying that you seem to have given someone your car for a laundry ticket. I don't see the humor in that. Well, it's very subtle. Oh, no, not you, too. Yeah, me, too. What, me, too? You and your father are drinking too much coffee. Yeah, the bean. Yes, I know. Yeah, beanie bean, bean, bean. <sighs> Mr. Beans. Man, it's good stuff, though. Hmm. You know, usually, uh, up until this point, I was strictly herbal tea, chamomile, rose hip, mm -hmm. ginkgo. Sometimes, occasionally, an Earl Grey. Mm. But uh, now I realize what I've been depriving myself of. You know, I'll tell you something. I had four cups of coffee this morning. Mm. And I tell you, it's like I am doing something with my life. Right. You know, like I feel like, oh my God, I'm exhausted. Whew. Man, it just hit me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, the highs are high, but the lows are really low. You know what you're like, honestly? What? Yeah, I think I figured you out. Great. You know, because I think I put it all together in one nice, neat little package, and so I'm just going to blurt it out. You are like... Man, I had it a second ago. <laughs> Damn it. It was just on the tip of my little fat tongue. I can't tell you how interesting this is. You know what you're like, Laura? What? You're like a big old ball of bitch. <laughs> That's the only one I can think of. What else do I have written down here? Milk, milk, lemonade. Around the corner, fudge is made. Hmm. I've been taking notes. I've been taking notes about... You know, about you, about other things. I've just been taking notes. Hey, Laura. Yeah? I was thinking how I could really go for something hot. Like a bowl of oatmeal? And black. Some tar? No, I'm thinking more along the lines of a nice hot cup of coffee. Are you interested? In what? In heading, heading out, you know. Dr. Katz, I don't make coffee runs. I'm not asking you as an employer to an employee. No? No, this is just between you and me, Laura, just two regular people. Okay, one regular person. And you. Work that charm on me, Dr. Katz. Yeah. Well, why would I do that? Well, because I think that you and I, and correct me if I'm wrong, are like two peas. Don't a... say pod. No, no, I was going to say we're just like two peas. Oh. Yeah, we are, kind of. Yeah. Dr. Katz's office. Hi, Laura, it's Ben. How you doing? Okay, bye. Wait, wait, wait. I know this might uh, surprise you, but... Uh... I'm very into feng shui. Oh, really? Me too, actually. Really? Uh-huh. You, you know what it is? Yeah. I said feng shui. Maybe you thought I was saying something in English. But it's a Chinese thing. I know. It's an Eastern. I philosophy. know. So you know about that it involves furniture. Uh-huh. And moving objects in uh -huh. order to uh, maximize your tranquility. Mm-hmm. 
Did you know about the contentment stuff and the uh, yin yang? Do you know that? Mm hmm. Have you heard of um, Mao Tse Tung? What? Mao Tse Tung. He's a Chinese leader. Huh. Yeah, I knew about him too. He's in the book. Hmm. So if you know Feng Shui, you must know about Ling Tang. Did you just make that up? Yeah. <sighs> but honestly, you strike me as someone much more Western than Eastern. You know? Mm. What about your apartment? Do you have your apartment set up like that? Mm hmm. You do? Yeah. Why don't you come over and check it out? Because, um,. I could tell you what, uh, what, maybe what you did wrong, or... I don't think it'd be a good idea, Ben. No. I think that it would disturb my tranquility. Well, listen, I am, uh, getting, a, uh, together a, uh, feng shui study group tonight. At, uh, my place at, uh, 8 o'clock. I don't know if you want to come by and we can exchange some, uh... Mm, I don't think so. Some ideas and maybe meditate. Do you do origami? That's Japanese. Chinese checkers? No. Just checkers? No. You ever played Bloody Knuckles? I gotta go. Hi, Laura. Hi, Ben. Let me uh, greet you in the way that I now greet people. You dropped sweat on my desk. Yeah. You know, Laura, to the fool, life is a series of unrelated events. You know, unresolved gestures, unrequited love. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just regurgitating that book all the time now. But I'm really, I'm getting into the, uh, to the fang of the shui. I see you uh, change the office around a little bit. Mm -hmm. Move the coat rack. That should be over a little more. No. Don't you think? I don't think so. You know, it's funny how people's ideas of feng shui are different, you know? Feng shui. It's funny how the people, the way they say it is different, too, sometimes. Yeah, like the right way or the wrong way. Right, and it's feng shui. Depending on, you know. In any respect, I just get the feeling that some people's uh, ideas of feng shui are better than others, and mine is better. <laughs> Ben, it's not a competition. Well, I did the apartment over. Have you done your apartment? Yeah. Do you have a lot of plants? Yeah. Do you have a fishbowl? No. Huh, I do. <laughs> yeah. Where is it? It's in the kitchen right next to the toaster where it belongs. Uh. Do you have wind chimes in your apartment? No. <laughs> I, I have a whole bunch of wind chimes. Do you have uh, crystal balls? No. I don't have those either. But, you know, as far as I'm concerned, that's dumb. That's like too new age. Mm-hmm. Which way is your bed facing? It's facing east. Dumb. <laughs> so obvious. Are you keeping track of the score? Pff, I won. I did. I'm better. I am. I'm more at peace with myself than you'll ever be at peace with yourself. I'm so much at peace that I'm about to fall asleep. I'm doubly as at peace. You're getting upset. Takes one to know one, way more tranquil. Totally content. Dr. Katz's office. Laura. Hi, Ben. Can I uh, take a minute of your time here? Because <sighs> I got a little situation on my hands here. First of all, I got the mail today, which I do every day. But today was a little different. I got a letter. Wow. So I was kind of afraid to open it because at first I thought it was a subpoena. <sighs> no, you, I got a, a uh, chain letter. Who sent it to you? Well, this kid named Lance Garcy, which I, at first I didn't realize who that was. But then I realized it's a guy I went to uh, elementary school with. Well, Ben, you have, Can I read you it have to... Lord, you have a second? Good. This is a chain letter. Uh-huh. I don't know if Lance wrote that, but it sounds like him. <sighs> Within 24 hours, you must send it to 10 other people. On the third day, the person you are most attracted to will send you some kind of signal revealing their feelings toward you. Hmm? Huh? Now, here's the, uh, here's the bad part. It takes a big turn. Warning. Mm -hmm. If you do not pass this on, something as bad as this story, or worse, will happen to you. Take Heather Dixon of Buford, Minnesota. Then it goes on to talk about Heather Dixon, that she had a guy named Keith who she fell in love with, and she didn't send letters to ten people, yeah. and he died in a massive car accident. Is this the thing that's been causing all the death in the world? Laura! Yeah. Hey, how are you? Fine. You know, it's funny, I'm uh, compiling a list of uh, addresses of people I know. And uh, you are uh, missing. So I wanted to uh, just fill you in here. Let me check under... Uh, yep, Uncle Max, he's on there. Um, my home address. And then Laura, yeah, I don't have yours. So if you could um, kindly provide that. Not a chance. Right. Dr. Katz's office. Hello, Laura. If you can tell me your complete address, including zip code, you may be eligible to win an all-expense parade bed. Ben. I'm going to have to take that again, Bobby. Ben, what do you want? If you can tell me your complete address, including zip code, you may be eligible to win an all-expense paid trip to uh, the Bahamas. Ben. 
Dr. Katz's office. Hey, Laura. Hey, I bet you're gonna th you, you think I'm going to ask you for your address again, but I am not, so what is it? Dr. Katz's office. Laura. Hey, can I quickly, uh, can I just uh, get your address, please? No. Just quickly? No. Quicker. Is that Ben? Let's get this done quick. I just want the address and the, uh, and the apartment number. Do you live in an apartment or a house? Is that Ben? Laura? Yes. Yes what? A house or apartment? <sighs> can you tell him that now is not a good time? Mm. Laura. Can you just tell him, Laura, just tell him now is not a good time that you have something? No. Laura, I'm just asking a question. What's your address? It's important. It's a house or apartment? Shut your fat mouth. Hey, Laura, that's hey, Laura, not nice. I that think You know, I don't like to be You should fat. keep an... You, you should keep I can't handle this. Ben, hasn't it been three days since you got the letter? Yeah, it's been about three days. Well, isn't there a kind of a time limit on this? I mean... But I, I actually, I called uh, I called Lance and I got an extension. Uh, this list is not great. The deli guy? Uncle Max? My father? Mm-hmm. The mailman? He was involved from the beginning. Mm hmm I'm sending one to Senator Carlisle because his address was in the paper today. <sighs> Let me ask you a quick question, Laura. What the hell is a 25-year-old kid doing sending around a chain letter like an idiot, like a 10-year-old? I know. I don't mean me, even though I'm doing that. I mean, but he started it. These are grown people who are, who are sending around chain letters. Don't they have anything better to do? I don't know. Do you? Have you ever gotten a chain letter before? Yeah, I think I've gotten. You think you've gotten one? Yeah. You have? Um, uh, yeah. What did you do with it? Threw it away. Oh, you're gonna die. You're gonna die. How long ago was that? Laura. Laura? Get help! Somebody get help! Dr. Katz's office. Dr. Katz's office. Hey, that's pretty good. You know what the music means? We're gonna we're gonna have to stop now. Oh, okay. Our, our time is up. Okay. I I was just. Yep. All right. That's uh, that's the way it works. Okay. I mean, is, I, I, I I don't make the rules, but I I try to live by them. No, I understand. That is what the music means. But I, w I didn't know if I could... No, not really. Yeah. This is just really important. We can pick up yeah. next time where we left off today. I understand. Because of the music and everything. Mm-hmm. And the meaning of it. I just have these... Now I understand. Yeah. Okay. But if I... No, you see... Right, 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 right. Mm.